Um, it feels great, man. I mean, I've been waiting for this for the whole um, a year and a half, and just to get the opportunity to play, it's just an amazing feeling, you know. So I'm looking forward to it this Friday, and just go out there and just have fun. How are you feeling fitness-wise? I'm, 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 well, I'm very well fit, you know. I'm just, just been taking it one day at a time, hope, hoping when I get out there, I just don't get tired too quick or anything like that, but I'm really very fit. I'm just looking forward to go out there and play with the guys. Such a long journey for you. Did you did you ever lose hope at some point and think that maybe it wouldn't happen? No, I did not lose hope, man. I, I knew things like this happened in this sport and just just kept it positive once once I heard the news. But you know, I knew something was going to come up, and then thank God it came came back with the Wildcats. So I was really happy. Are you nervous at all, Youngy, going into Friday? Oh uh, no, not at all, man. I can't be nervous, man. This has been a long year and a half waiting to play, so. I'm letting go all the nerves out. So, <laughs> are you clear on what your role is going to be over the next sort of six weeks? Um, just, just whatever the team needs me to do, and I'm, I go out there and do whatever. The whether they just communicate, cheer for them, or go out there and just help them defensively, offensively. So, whatever they need me to do, I'll be be there to do it for them. Tell us about how you found out that you uh, got the call up. Who broke the news to? You? Um, my agent called me uh, like six in the morning to let me know, <laughs> and I was like, oh really? And then I went to practice, and then got called in by Trav, and then. Nick and then gave me the news, but I already knew before they told me, so it was good. And what's the response been from the, the playing group to find um, out that you're there? They were really excited, man. You know, I've, been, I've been with them the whole year and a half, man. I never left, you know. You know I, I never let my guard down. Once I heard the news that I wasn't part of the team, I just kept coming to practice and just felt like I, was, I felt like I was part of the team. So when I got back, I was, you know, I was still part of the team. So it wasn't like, oh, somebody knew well, I was left for a year and a half and came back. So I was just still part of the team. I, I knew everything. I knew everybody. Just felt like at home. You feel pretty comfortable. You can slot straight in, given that you've been training with them for, for so long. Yes, I, I do feel comfortable. So you know. Everything that we've been going through for the whole year, I know it. So I'm just going to fit right in and help the team. Did you come to many of the games here at the arena last season and watch the boys? Yeah, I, I, every game I was here. Every game. I had to I had to be here, so I was here. It must be exciting <laughs> to, to then be able to play in front of a, a crazy... It, it is. It is an exciting experience, man. I mean, I, was been, I, was, I thought it would be last Friday because, you know, that was the whole plan, you know, me and my missus. I thought it was going to be last Friday and she can come and watch my game and everything, but it didn't happen. Thank God it became the second Friday, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, you're obviously important that you guys get a win on Friday. What's the, the message been, main message been from Trevor training this week so far? Um, just to play as hard as we can and just give it, give it 110%, you know? What we did uh, in the last, the last game, was first, the first half, we just didn't come out playing or swinging at all, so we got to come out this game swinging from the first half and not let the team take advantage of us in the first first two quarters. So, What sort of um, threat to Wollongong pose to the team? What are the key areas to sort of watch out with them? Well, they got very, very fast point guard in the front court. They're really quick and fast, and then their four men can really shoot the ball. So, you know, they can spread out the floor and attack us on a, on a, on a break, but what we're going to do is just contain them and make sure they don't get a lot of fast break and everything like that.